Our next speakers are Francesco Tacchini, Yulenka Ebhart, and William Yates Johnson. Uh, Francesco, Yulenka, and William are from the Royal College of Art and are responsible for the Space Relay Project, uh, which they're going to uh, talk about now. So please welcome uh, Francesco, Yulenka, and William. Hello, hi. Um, this is Francesco, I'm Will, this is Yulenka. We're first years at the Royal College of Art and we'd like to present uh, a project that we worked on quite recently. So there's a video. Um, so what you just saw was a device that we created uh, to uh, record ambient noise and replay it automatically. Um, so this device is a, is, a, is a floating ball that navigates through space on air currents. And uh, it's, it's this sort of automatic passive recording and, and playback machine, really. And it sort of so it produces a delayed echo of human activity. We, we became interested in public uh, transitional spaces early on in the project and um, wanted to kind of manipulate the sounds that, that you can get from these spaces. And uh, we can sort of program the, the machine to, um, to produce a delay of our choosing. And um, yeah, so it's this sort of passive recorder and it, it, it goes through space. And um, we thought of it as a kind of uh, consciousness, like a human mind maybe moving through the space. Um, so it's sort of at head height and uh, it looks like this mysterious object. So we got a lot of really weird reactions <laughs> when, we were, when we were presenting it in public. And um, to talk about uh, how it works is Yelinka. Yeah. Hi. So basically what you see on the left side is a balloon, which you also see in the video. And the other components, they're inside the balloon and they form the sound cone which is basically the device who records and replays the sound. So that how it looks when it is assembled. And um, our biggest challenge was, because the balloon is filled with helium, to make it as light as possible. So this balloon is three feet um, big when it is inflated, and it can lift around 150 grams, and we made this to be 120, so that was our big achievement. Good achievement. Um, this is the soft, 
the technology which is in there. So that's an Arduino Uno, uh, a sound shield, a wave shield, and a very light um, speaker and a microphone which records the sound, basically. So I jump in now to talk about what happened to the project because the first part of it was mainly a kind of um, school sort of project and then when we shared it online um, the, the project became sort of viral and we started to getting really interesting references, mainly visual references. And this was Wait. the main Wait. reference. So that was an early prototype of footage of an early prototype, and um, it, it's interesting. It's uh, it's it's called Rover. It's from a British uh, TV program from the 60s, and uh, it was the main visual feedback that we got from the project. So people commenting online were kind of um, sending images and, and links, and this we didn't know about it. It was the main thing. And then uh, one day, a friend of mine from um, from China, she said that the project was on Chinese Twitter called Weibo. And um, I was quite surprised because suddenly the visual references we started getting were completely strange and the internet being weird kind of led to something quite interesting, almost like a side project. Um, and on the Chinese Twitter, on Weibo, the link pointed to this, which is an um, anime, Japanese anime. And it's kind of the same thing really, so it was surprising to see something so similar, so strikingly similar without knowing about it. And then um, we had somebody else pointing us to this. Yes. So he manages to escape the black balloon and uh, Actually, my dad told me he was playing this as well at the time. It's a game from 1983 called Impossible Mission for um, Commodore 4. And um, it's, again, very interesting how it looks so similar, but just, you know, we, we didn't know about it. And then we had this as well, which is my favorite. Now, what do you make of that? It must be the doctor. Rajesh Singh. It's an honor, sir. What is that thing? We got no idea. And that is Doctor Who. And it's kind of like the recent version of it. And, you know, again, strikingly similar. And we had some comments as well, which were kind of, you know, I think f <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and we even had this sort of stuff, so also fair enough. <laughs> Somebody wanted, you know. And that's it. Thank you very much. And that's how you kill it. Thank you.